welcome. Today we're going to be discussing about LinkedIn. This is going to be a two part video series. So if you want to know when the next video comes up, please subscribe to Coding Ninja and don't forget to press the bell icon. LinkedIn enables you to see a complete list of all people who attended or are attending your school or university. You can get a complete idea of where they work, where they live, what they do, what they studied, what they skilled at and how you're connected to them. You can access this by entering the name of the school or the university in the search bar and then selecting the name of the school when it appears in the drop down and then clicking on the alumni button. If you're applying for a role in a company, you can use this tool to figure out which of the alumni from your school or university is working in this company to get a referral. This tool can also help you decide which university you can do your masters in. You're probably asking me how is that possible? You can basically go and check which particular university has alumni who landed a job in the company or in a role that you liked. Then if most of the alumni were able to land in a company or in a role that you like, you know that this university has a potential to fulfill your dream. This can also help you if you're deciding between offers. If you know an alumni who is working in this company, you can discuss with them about the work culture and the pay. After conducting a search, just click on the save search button so that you can save the search and then run it again later easily. The main use of saving searches is to get monthly or weekly reminders via email. Once a new person matching your criteria enters your network or if there is a new job that is posted that matches your criteria, you will get a reminder in your mail. You can filter your search by location, industry, previous work, school, profile language and non-profit interests. So instead of spending hours searching for jobs or connections, let LinkedIn do the job for you. Did you know that LinkedIn allows you to include a variety of media files in your profile? You can include photos, videos, documents, links and even presentations. Adding such media files to your profile helps you showcase a sample of the projects and work that you've done in the past. In order to add these media files, click on the add button in the feature section. If you've never created a feature section before, go to the add profile section and then click on the feature section there. Now look for the option that you want to add. If you want to add web page links or media like photos, docs and presentation, you can add it directly. But if you want to add posts and articles, first create them and then add it. Few things on the top of my head that you can highlight are definitely your resume, a link to your GitHub repo and a UI portfolio if you have it. A lot of us struggle with questions like, tell me about yourself, what are your strengths and weaknesses? What LinkedIn has done is it has compiled all such common questions and it tells us how to answer them. You will find three things on this page. One, an answer framework to help you get an idea of how to structure your answer. Two, sample answers from different people to figure out what is the content that goes into answering these questions. Three additional tips that are relevant to answering these questions. LinkedIn job page has a ton of options, but let's start with the basics first. You would have seen a lot of people having the green open to work tag. Well, on this page, you have a way to enable the same thing for your profile as well. The main LinkedIn job search page obviously helps you search for jobs. It also lets you see what jobs you've applied for earlier. You can also set alerts for different jobs. We've already covered how to set alerts for jobs, but if you need explicit instructions, you can get it from the page here. Thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for the second part in this LinkedIn series. For new programming updates and videos, subscribe to Coding Ninja's channel.